Uh, but yeah, the clinics uh, have been going amazing. Uh, we have now reached 62% of our 65 plus population. Uh, I really think that we will be able to reach herd immunity in the 65 plus population uh, within um, several weeks, hopefully in the early part of April. So that will be really great. Um, and, you know, the, the new populations opened up on March 1st of the education sector, the child care sector, grocery store workers, manufacturing. Um, I feel like I'm missing others. Uh, oh. Yes, lots of people have opened up uh, congregate care settings uh, on March 1st. So we are making several plans, not only just this mass clinic here at Shopco, other clinics west of the eye, mobile strike force teams where we'll be going um, to the Shalom Center, we'll go to Lake, uh, Lakeside Towers, um, other, you know, group settings, the detention center, pre-trial facility. So we're going to be doing all of that in the next couple of weeks. So we'll be hitting a lot more um, of those populations in the next coming weeks. So lots of multiple plans are happening concurrently and, um, and we're doing great. We're just, uh, we're getting the word out there. We have um, media coming on Friday uh, to see our shop code. So how, how the operations are run. So we're very excited about that. And uh, yeah, we're just plugging along, but I can answer any questions you have. How's your, how's your workforce holding up? So the county executive has been very great in just sort of saying um, all hands on deck, you know, and so obviously with moving to here, we went from 11 vaccinators at the job center. We'll now have capacity for 25 vaccinators here. Um, we went from four registration tables to 12 registration tables. So we need a lot more help. Um, so we're really pulling on a lot of county workers, a lot of volunteers through the Wisconsin Emergency Assistance Volunteer Registry. And... Um, and we need a lot of a lot more consistent help because this is a massive operation. It's not just one week or a one day thing. It's going to go on. So um, we'll be constantly in this human resource looking for for workforce to help us. So because we still have um, all of our other public health duties as well too. So our staff is trying to balance all the other grants and services and programs uh, alongside with let's get our population vaccinated. So we should put out a. Maybe something in the paper or on the radio that you're looking for and that they should sign up to that website? So we have posted it. We've had press releases. We posted it on Facebook. I think in the coming weeks, we'll have to have a stronger push. Do you think the uh, county executive could uh, request National Guard help? I mean, they're helping in other areas throughout the state. We, we've been having the National Guard here at every single one of our clinics. So um, at the job center, we had about 10 people for word data entry alone. We were asking for vaccinators. They've helped out in our registration station. Now coming to Shopco, we've asked for 20 National Guard to help us with word data entry um, of every patient. And because that has to be done within 24 hours, so they stay until it gets done. And um, and also about five to 10 vaccinators. So, um, so we'll be able to get that support. I know that now that many more counties in the rest of the state are also asking for National Guard support, I'm worried that our ask is going to get taken back a little bit because they largely were, were coming to us because we were out of the gate early and we requested their help early, and now they're going to be pulled in a lot more directions. So I'm a little worried about that. I have a question from a former constituent of mine. He's basically homebound. Uh, is there going to be people that go out and do homebound? But he could also somebody to drive them up? Could they do a drive up uh, shop at Shopco? So we have, um, we could probably make that happen, yes. But um, we we do have a homebound list. So people are calling our call center, um, you know, 605 uh, 6799 to get on the homebound list um, if they are um, indeed homebound. We don't have enough supply yet to, to take care of, you know, there's probably a couple thousand on that list. Um, but the mobile strike team, who is right now handling things like detention center, lakeside towers, will soon be able to do that, you know, one, you know, at each home kind of thing. Um, so we'll, that'll take longer, you know, because it takes time and we have to sit there and observe them in their home. And, and, um, and these are people who very much want to have visitors and chat. So um, the visits take a little bit longer for vaccination there. So we'll be getting to that homebound situation and then. You know, um, there's also transportation that's now available in Kenosha County. Again, if, if somebody needs a, trans a ride to any vaccine clinic, not just ours, they can call the hotline and procure transportation that way. So that's an exciting new development, too. Oh, thank you very much. 
Uh, one comment, uh, working with the homeless people at Sloan Center, um, it'd be probably best if they could do the single dose one, because if you're doing a dose and you expect them to be there for a follow-up dose, we we're, we're already on that. We're already way ahead of you. Uh, good. Uh, just, yep. uh, you know, a good portion of them won't be there in a month. <laughs> and, and that's what we know. We know that, um, you know, the Johnson & Johnson was initially put out for educators, but we've largely got a lot of our educators in Kenosha County done already. We're doing a ton this week and a ton next week. Um, so, yeah, we will be able to get those populations that are harder to reach for the second dose, homebound, homeless, uh, detention center. You know, so we'll be able to take care of them. Thank you. Um, Jen, mm -hmm. uh, just a question uh, on the CDC guidelines that were released yesterday. Um, I've had several people asking, you know, there's comments about small gatherings, medium gatherings, and large gatherings. And um, uh, do you have no off the top of your head what the differentiation is between there? Because they were talking in one spot about, you know, two households or three households interacting. And, you know, there are some people who are like, well, my 15 friends and I are going to get together and that's still considered small. And someone else is saying, no, no, small is two to three households. Yeah. Do you have any ideas off the top of your head what that means? Because So, so the stance we're still maintaining um, is that um, the, the guidelines from the CDC were really meant for like grandma and grandpa to be able to see their grandkids. It was meant for that small, you know, um, interfamily kind of thing. Now, with the CDC guidelines that just came out, the state is also reviewing that. The state will put out their recommendation. We are going to wait for that state recommendation. So as of right now, we're still maintaining status quo with what our recommendation is as well. My other component is that, um, uh, you know, there isn't a whole lot of research and science out yet. This is a very delicate balance that the CDC is trying to manage so that there is a benefit to getting vaccinated. Um, and, and, and the people and patients on waiting for that research to come out and make official, right? So, uh, so we're still maintaining status quo. I will wait to see what the city, what the spatial permit takes from the CDC, and then we will make the best decision for Kenosha County. We'll make sure we put that out there far and wide. But um, as of right now, anytime guidance comes out, we have to digest it and figure out, you know, given our case rate and our percent uh, positive, and you know, given all of our data, what is going to work best for Kenosha County? Right. I just I wonder whether we could. Um, can we get that message, what you just said? Can we somehow get that out? Because I am hearing a lot of people basically be like, freedom, yeah. and, yeah. you know, and, and going crazy. And I'm over here saying, I didn't think that's what it meant. To, you know, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Anyone else have questions for Jen? Any other business or comments? Uh, this is Mark. I just want to comment that everything that I've heard about the uh, clinics by the county has been nothing but excellent and praise, and that it's going well. Uh, the lines are very short. It's quickly, and I just really have to give you guys kudos. And I'll probably be making a site visit uh, over to Shopco soon and see what's going on there. But, yeah, just... Uh, a lot of amazing comments about how well Kenosha County is doing. And when I see on the news what the counties aren't being able to do in Wisconsin, I think we are probably in the top three or five that are really getting the job done. And then just one more comment on bylaws. Now that we adopted the new bylaws, and it says our board members can only be on for 10 years, that would uh, move me out of being on the board. I've been on as a citizen member for at least 11, and then before that as a county board member for at least four. So I really don't want to turn a letter of resignation in yet, but if you in the county executive could work on finding a replacement for me, and I know that's not easy, you know, I'll wait until that point until I can be replaced. And, and we'll talk about that because I guess we didn't make the distinction are we working retroactively? Does it start right now? So, so let me get with Don Moyer and the county executive and figure out what, how we need to interpret that. 
I think that was my oldest mark too. So I don't know how many years I've been, but yeah, you know, you've been there 10 for sure, too, like, I think. And I think the old bylaws also said 10 years. Yeah. It's just that nobody paid attention to them. Or, you know, as long as we got good, solid bylaws, we should be following them. So, you know, right. just keep that in mind that if you could find somebody to replace me, I'd be fine with that. I've uh, really enjoyed everything here, and certainly I've learned a lot and I've been able to spread that news out in the community. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, thank you. Well, we'll get back to it. Thank you, though, so much. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, I really just have to commend this Rockstar team. The health department is just amazing, and 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 all the people that are just, um, you know, killing themselves to make this a go. And and you know, we have HR here right now. I have a ton of people from IT, uh, DPW. I mean, so it is like it is a team effort with all of the county departments that have been putting in so much work to make this this a go. So it's um it's been amazing collaboration. I would just encourage people to, um, if they can find time, um, you know, I kind of moved people around and I've been volunteering now on Fridays. Um, and it, it really is a really good system. Um, people are so grateful and, and, you know, whatever it is that, that they are having you do, um, you know, and maybe, I mean, I believe Dr. Gerlach, you were working with the Aurora clinic, but, you know, I, I think it's important for us to, um, to do as much as we can, and if you've got the time, um, or you can make the time, you know, even just to stop by and see it, so that we can see what's going on. Um, I think it's, it's. I just encourage people to do it if at all possible. And I know that, uh, you know, as as the uh, shop co experience uh, becomes greater and we get more vaccine, you know, we may be flipping over to a Saturday or or something like that, and and that might make people's schedules a little bit easier to to pop in and, and do something. But, you know, I would just really encourage people to uh, to stop by at some point and at least see what the what the system is and, and how it all is working because it's been it's been a good thing to be a part of. Can we pick up on Board of Health members like just for a couple of hours as far as volunteering? I'll take whatever you want to give. And okay. if and if you would like a tour, get with Karen to make sure that I know when you're coming so that I can give you a little uh, escorted <laughs> tour through and just let me know what you guys would like. Okay, because I have a pretty short window on Friday, but I could probably help out. So um, I'll touch base with you later. Sure, would love that. Thank you. Jen, can you also send us a list and job descriptions of the different um, volunteer positions so that we can kind of recruit? I sure can, yeah. In, in just in some right now, it's really vaccinators. Um, we need vaccinators. We need uh, people for registration, of course, that involves a little more training to understand the Wisconsin immunization registry and how we how we check people in. Um, and then floater runners, greeters, people to push wheelchairs, people to do traffic control and guide people where to go and where to sit. And um, that's always an easy job. You can pop in and just uh, be put in a put in a post and and smile and give good customer service. <laughs> Will you take sixteen and up? Oh gosh, yeah. Have... Okay. Sometimes we have like the the high schoolers do that that eight hours. I'll take them. Okay. And what's that website again? So it's Weaver. It's W E A B as in Victor, R as in Roger. Dot W I. Dot org. Okay. I will start recruiting. That'd be great. Thank you. Over there. <laughs> All right. Ben, can you repeat that one time? I'm sorry, the email address? Yeah. I, let me just put it in the, can you see the chat? Yeah, perfect. All right, I'm going to put it in there. The chat, the chat's not available for, for posting, and too, that will only go to the host. This is not a public record thing. It's not something we should be Oh, okay. So, W-E-A. B is in Victor, R is in Roger. So, it stands for the Wisconsin Emergency Assistance Volunteer Registry. Dot W-I for wisconsin.org okay thank you okay. so i think you're doing a great job out there and um, i'll see you at the end of the week yes um i had fax trouble so did you get the email with the sign sheet perfect thank you
Okay. Anything else from anyone or anything else you need? No, thank you. All right. Get out and enjoy some, some of the sun and warm weather. See you guys next month. Bye. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.